It's been uh, an honor to have the success I've had. But if I didn't give back, then I'd be no more than a thief in the night. Thor, an American dream. I started with nothing and with an old pickup truck and following the, the prescription that they laid out by being involved and really taking advantage of the opportunities, this is what's possible. I'm sitting here because that's what's possible. What was possible was dreaming big, working hard, overcoming challenges, and investing in others. In the early 80s, Thor was nothing more than willpower and a truck. He had an old pickup truck and uh, started doing odd jobs. And so I called myself a, a restoration contractor. And that was a fancy way of saying that I would do whatever I could. I think with wheelbarrow and pickaxe and, uh, and a, a winning personality by day, he would win opportunities to do work and then wheelbarrow pickaxe through the night to accomplish the task. So pretty soon I had the three utilities in, in no time at all, a year or two, I had uh, a fleet of trucks going out doing this utility work throughout the entire metro area. So that was the genesis and the beginning of Thor Construction. Going from genesis to revelation requires a period of bearing fruit. For Thor, this was that period. And Thor Construction, since 1980, has gone through various types of work. We went from doing with a utility restoration to becoming a uh, demolition contractor to becoming a vertical contractor building buildings. This period for Thor represents the phase where strategic partnering and joint venturing created significant top-line growth, human capital development, and the foundation to pursue new markets. In addition, Thor became a trailblazing example of the value of majority-minority partnerships. Thor has had successful alliances with Perini and Penta in Las Vegas, as well as a decade-long relationship with Mortensen in Minneapolis. We have, we have a great admiration for, for Richard and his firm. We were impressed by the fact that he came to us uh, as an unknown and really performed uh, on our projects in a very successful way. We have formed a partnership, uh, we have formed a mentorship relationship and considered Richard not only a good friend of the company but a good business partner. The strength and integrity of Thor's partnerships can be found in the increased scope and size of the projects as well as Thor's expanded role. The two companies then uh, also won the contract to expand the Minneapolis Convention Center. They did a wonderful job. Of course, then they also worked together jointly to build the Minneapolis Central Library. Some of the projects that we have teamed together on include some of the major landmarks in the Twin City Marketplace. And we look forward to working with Richard now on the construction of the new Twins Ballpark and on the Gophers TCF Bank Football Stadium. Further evidence of Thor's expansion and development shows in their entrance into new markets. Entering the Las Vegas market has been extremely challenging yet rewarding. It's been the culmination of gathering and hiring and retaining some of the most talented and committed people found in the construction industry. We are always on budget and we never deliver projects late. Working in that environment in Vegas is working at light speed, 24-7. That's what differentiates us from the competition. Another market that Thor entered into was land development. The irony of Thor's first project was that it was in Richard's backyard. I was born in the projects, uh, which I am currently renovating. I tore down the projects and now I'm building it back uh, this new economically diverse community in that same place I was born. A very exciting time to be at Thor Construction. One of our initiatives is to develop middle class communities in developing countries, third world economies. For example, we're working with the Dominican Republic and we're looking at expanding to Central America and eventually Africa in 
putting in place infrastructure, housing, road, streets, water, and sewer for middle class uh, citizens in developing countries, therefore creating uh, upward mobility and democracy in those economies. Thor also expanded its Midwest market via a new and hopefully long-term relationship with Target. A relationship that we're very proud of is the one we've developed with Target Corporation. Learning technically how to deliver big box retail across the United States has strengthened our company and looks great on our resume. Finally, one of the greatest challenges for Richard has been managing his company's accelerated growth. Over the last 20 years, I have grown the company organically. But to truly take the company to the next level, I need some young, talented people to help me get there. I have identified someone that I could collaborate with, that I could trust and gain synergy with. And that individual is Robbie Norman. I've been blessed to experience private sector success at a relatively young age. Yet I was ecstatic when Richard asked me to facilitate his two-day strategic retreat. Now, I certainly didn't know that two days would become two and a half years. But ultimately, from the first day I came to this company, this family, it felt like home. I think what I bring to the organization is a strategic vision rooted in a sound fiscal policy which enables us to manage our growth in an optimal fashion. Richard and I share similar philosophies in five key areas. One, we invest in our people and their development. Two, we provide the highest level of customer service. Three, we develop and create transparent processes and expectations. Four, we build a workplace culture that is open, honest, and fun. And five, we're committed to reinvesting and building sustainable minority businesses and communities. Thor has been primed to experience unprecedented success and continues to be a pioneer in industry, business, and community. Thor Construction, in five years, will do $500 million in construction. In addition to our construction business, we plan to have a diverse portfolio of complementary businesses that deliver economic development to our respective community. A particular focus has been on Thor's consulting practice and diversity initiatives. We are doing some systemic things now, like we're opening a construction high school over on the north side with Dunwoody and Seed Academy. And now we're working on developing a business school for minority entrepreneurs that will broaden the ability of this community to help people learn how to help themselves. Developing an economic engine within the minority communities helps everybody win. Richard and I agree that supplier diversity programs and initiatives are structurally confined. We believe the primary reason for this is that economies of scale and strategic sourcing pressures in the supply chain force large multinational corporations to do direct business with firms with significant size, capability, and capacity. Unfortunately, too few minority firms possess the requisite size, capacity, and capabilities to manage large corporate spend. We believe that this creates a disequilibrium and marketplace conditions that create resentments, inaccurate assumptions, and not enough commerce. We've developed a solution to address this problem. Tier one contractors like Thor have to create and manage the supplier diversity programs. These programs have to be tied to actual work. They have to leverage the efficient and effective use of technologies and ultimately have to be inclusive in nature by linking accurate and timely assessments of firms 
with an actionable development network. This innovation shines through in Thor's STAR program. Having diversity in the workforce and diversity of contractors creates competition and incentive and role models and, and all boats rise.